What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. We are here to check out the brand new trailer for Godzilla X-Kong, <laughs> the new empire, the sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong, and the latest entry in the Monarch Monsterverse that's been going on lately and has the new TV show out. Oh my gosh. Honestly, like when you told me about this trailer, I was like, there's so much of it to keep up with. Yeah, but there's nothing cooler than Godzilla and Kong. First they fought... Now are they going to team up? I mean, it was inevitable, right? I mean, I guess there's only... I guess technically they did team up at the end <laughs> of the last movie, but maybe they're going to team up again. But let's watch and find out, maybe? All right, guys. Starting the trailer for Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire, right now. Whoa. Whoa. Data. <laughs> For most of human civilization, we believed that life could only exist on the surface of our planet. Oh, wasn't that a mistake? <laughs> yeah, what an idiot. Idiot. What idiots. Oh. I legit almost wondered if that was something else. It looked like a transformer. <laughs> Mudas. Oh, is that this Kong is looking old? He's showing his grave. Imagine. I mean, the franchise has been around for some time. Rebecca Hall with a new haircut. Still what? Now and then. Oh, oh, it's a little baby Kong. What is that? Dan Stevens. That's not Kong. Oh. Who could have done this? Oh shit. Of the planet of the apes? <laughs> Damn. Whoa. What is Whoa. happening? Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. Oh, there's my boy, Team Godzilla for life. I love how pink all of it He's is. He's pink now. <laughs> oh. Whoa. That's sick. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! They're teaming up now! Welcome to my world. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a mini Kong? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Not a Diddy Kong? <laughs> Oh, that's Imagine. good. And if you would have said that, that would have been funny. <laughs> um, I really like that. That was good. I mean, I there's still a lot of questions that's leaving um, in terms of... I what, what impressed me the most is a lot of these movies have... I don't want to say shaky visuals, but mm. the visuals haven't been great. Uh, in, in the first Godzilla movie in this franchise, they hid the, the monster yeah. a lot. They did the hide the monster trope a lot mm -hmm. until that epic final battle, which still... Didn't have as much Godzilla as I would have wanted. Mm -hmm. Then King of the Monsters used rain and darkness to kind of hide the monsters. Godzilla v. Kong was was a huge improvement over that and mm -hmm. gave us our, our best visuals yet. And now this, it looks right. like it looks like what everyone wants Transformer movies to be, <laughs> where they focus on the like the monsters and the actual creatures. Yeah. More I, than the human aspect. I mean, they definitely were still focusing a good amount on the humans, but I think. They were definitely focusing on Khan, definitely on the empire of the other of the yeah. other apes that were there. It looks sick. So, but no, I think you're right. They weren't hiding anything. Though. No. And everything we saw looked pretty damn good. Looks so cool. I wanted like God. It looked like Godzilla was like hibernating, like charging his power, like <laughs> Goku on Namek when he's in the the tank, and he's just like, oh, when I get out of here, I'm gonna fight Frieza. It's like Godzilla was like, I'm gonna become pink now. <laughs> And he erupted, and he was like, just 
look jacked and ready to fight. Kong's like, I'm going to get a robot arm. <laughs> I'm going to get a like a gauntlet robot arm. Oh, my God. Which is, I'm blanking on it. What was the Transformers movie this year? Uh, Rise of the Beast. Yeah, exactly. Because that's immediately what it made it me think It looked like of. Optimus Primal really quickly. <laughs> Uh, it's so cool. Like, listen, we, I love, I personally love Tokusatsu. Yes. I'm a huge fan. Obviously, I grew up with Power Rangers uh, and Super Sentai. I love the Tokusatsu roots of the Godzilla franchise and mm-hmm. the Kong franchise. Uh, so, when you have big kaiju monsters mm-hmm. beating the crap out of each <laughs> other, I'm 100% in on it, no matter what. And this movie looks like it is just going to be that it's going to be kaiju fights galore like you said hopefully that will be the primary focus i think that is what a lot of the trailer even though again it showed a decent amount of the humans it will have that focus no hiding anything and also just kind of showing stuff we haven't seen before honestly yeah. it's good to see i don't i can't remember if dan stevens was in the last movie I, or not i feel like he i'm pretty confident he was because i i think he was too but mm. i, I want to say frequent adam wingard uh, collaborator <laughs> Uh, Dan Stevens is in this movie, but I'm pretty sure all of the three yeah, Rebecca, main actors Rebecca were. Rebecca, definitely. 100% she was. Brian, uh, Tyree, Henry. Tyree Henry was definitely there as well. And, I'm, and, he the, had, girl. and the girl. The girl definitely was too. Um, so yeah, Dan Stevens had to be there, but I'm just blinking because he's that good of an actor. He just blends into the role. He blends He just in. blends into the role. But I, I assume he was, because mm-hmm. like I said, Adam Wingard directed Kong vs. Godzilla. He's mm-hmm. directing this one. They're, they're frequent collaborators and friends, so I'm assuming he he was definitely in that. Mm-hmm. But either way, I'm all in. This movie looks sick. It's going to be monsters v. monsters. I'm really curious, like... I don't know. I'm really... I, like, it looks like they're just throwing a bunch of the old lore mm-hmm. into this, which I guess these movies have done, but we're getting Baby Kong. We're getting, you know... I, mean, I wonder if we're gonna get a, a Godzuki, like Baby Godzilla. Right. That would be that, that would be dope. That would be unexpected at this point. I mean, point. I feel bad. Like Kong's got got all these other Kongs right. rolling and around. Is Godzilla just gonna be a loner? Godzilla's or... just by himself. Like I kind of feel bad for Godzilla. Like he's got a best buddy now. Yeah, but he's also Godzilla. How bad are you gonna feel for him? That's true. And I also have to one last thing. I have to say it's very brave of Kong. To show his age. Yes. In this movie. Yeah, he's not dying his fur or anything. He's not dying his fur anymore. He's like, listen, I'm I'm going natural. I'm gray. It's okay to get old. It's a natural part of life. And I, listen, I respect the shit out of him I, for that. I was going to say, is he pulling a Reed Richards? He's pulling a Reed Richards. <laughs> he's pulling a Pedro Pascal, some would say. Pascal's embracing the gray. He's embracing the gr- the gray. The Pascal's da- a daddy. The daddy look. He's a daddy. He's now he's Kong, now actually Kong a daddy. Is a daddy. <laughs> he's actually a daddy now. So listen, Kong, you, uh, I respect you for that. It's very respectable. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. If you want to check out our other reactions, click the link on the page. <laughs> Until next time, guys, stay burst.